So basically, what Newton uh, also found out is that the force, so basically, the law of gravitation, the law of gravity, establishes that any two bodies attract each other with the gravitational force. So when the Earth is pulling on the moon with the force of gravity, the moon is pulling on the Earth by the force of equal magnitude, but the opposite direction. And that is part, that requirement is a part of the Newton's laws of motion uh, as uh, uh, encapsulated by his third law, which is often said that, you know, for every action there is equal and opposite reaction. Basically what it is saying is that uh, whenever you exert force on something, so an object, uh, that object is pushing back with the force of equal magnitude and opposite direction, okay? So it is a part of requirement of the third law of motion that uh, the force is always coming. If the Earth is uh, ex uh, uh, exerting gravitational pull on the moon, then the third law, of, third Newton's law of motion requires that the moon is also exerting uh, the force on, on uh, uh, the Earth, which is equal in magnitude. The length of these two arrows is the same, but the directions are opposite, as indicated by the direction of uh, the arrowheads. Okay, and if the distance between the objects or their centers is D, uh, then the law of gravity says that the size of this gravitational force is proportional to the masses of the two bodies interacting with each, with each other. And it has to be proportional to each mass, right? So the masses have to show up in the product. The symmetry of the situation requires that. that the masses appear in the product. And then the force of gravity decreases with the distance between the object as the distance squared. Okay? And this constant here is known as gravitational constant. Uh, and it has a value that you don't need to remember, but I'll write it down for the sake of completeness uh, of 6.67 uh, times 10 to the minus 11, and I'll choose the units so that uh, it's meters squared, oh, sorry, meters cubed over kilogram and second squared. Now note that it is proportional to very large negative power of 10, 10 to the minus 11. That means that the force of gravity is actually quite weak. And that's the reason why you and the person sitting next to you are not glued together by the force of gravitational attraction between you, two of you. You might be attracted for different reasons to each other, but it's not the force of gravity. Okay? That force, and the reason is that for ordinary objects of everyday size, uh, the masses are small. And because gravitational constant is so small, the force of gravity is negligible. It becomes noticeable only when one of these two bodies uh, has a mass of astronomical size. It's the Earth, right? My mass is small, 
but the Earth has huge mass, right? And a force of gravity that is pinning me to the surface of the Earth, it doesn't allow me to leak when I jump, right? It becomes noticeable because the mass of the Earth is, is very large. So since G is small, and it becomes noticeable when one of the two objects interacting by a force of gravity is of astronomical size. At least one, maybe both. Uh, has mass of astronomical size. <clears throat> 